National Payments Corporation of India NPCI, presents a hassle-free process to certify your bank for NACH-related products. This video will help you in understanding the steps to be followed during the process of certification using the tool provided by NPCI. Why certification? NPCI onboard banks onto its products post-successful certification. This will ensure to have a seamless transaction process in the life system. Why certification tool? This tool will help banks to get self-certified. This is developed to have 24-7 support on certification to banks without dependency. How to get access to this tool? The interested bank has to whitelist their IPs with NPCI to access this certification tool. Banks which are already a member of NACH should use the CRM application for raising the request for getting the access. If in case of a new bank, they have to mail the same to ACH at the rate npci.org.in. Once that's done, bank can self-certify online from the convenience of your office itself. The bank should approach NPCI to get username and password for using of this application. A bank can take up to a maximum of two users. Banks should submit IFSC, MICR, IIN for the purpose of creation of participant master in the application. The login page will ask for the username and password, which will be provided by NPCI on request. Now, allow us to explain the enrollment process through Ankita. She is a senior bank executive seeking to enroll the bank as a sponsor bank. Ankita has to first log into the certification tool. The home page will feature an icon on top left corner of the screen. On clicking the same, the screen will display all the options available in the tool. First option in the list will be the user management, wherein Ankita can view the list of users for that certifying bank. Next option is the start certification. Here, she can certify her bank in NACH products as a sponsor bank or a destination bank or for Aadhaar Mapper file. If Ankita's bank needs to certify themselves as a sponsor bank, Ankita will have to select the option as sponsor icon. After selecting the option, she can view the list of product available for certification which are ACH credit, ACH debit, APB credit, MMS. If she has to certify her bank in product ACHCR, the page will provide the user to select input file prepared as per NACH format and upload for validation. If a file is getting passed with a technical validation, a pop-up message will display as file has been accepted. And if a file fails the technical validation, then a pop-up message will display file has been rejected. Ankita now has to select the option download acknowledgement in the tool to know the status of the file. User can view two options acknowledgement and error report. If pop-up message received is accepted when the file is uploaded, then the user has to select the acknowledgement option. The page will have two options, select product and file type, where user provides appropriate product and file type as INP in the drop-down and clicks submit. Ankita can view the list of acknowledgement file displayed as list. She can now download and verify the status of file as accepted or rejected. If the pop-up message displayed is rejected while uploading a file, she will have to select the error report option. Here she can view the list of file names that can be downloaded from the tool to view the error report for that file. She has to select the download response option in the certification tool to view and download the response for the file uploaded as a sponsor bank. If the file is accepted in the tool and if she receives the positive response, then her bank will be certified as sponsor bank in that product. Now, let's consider the situation where Ankita wants to certify her bank as a destination bank. If her bank has to certify themselves in NACH products as a destination bank, Ankita has to select the as destination. After selecting the option, she can view the list of products available for certification, which are ACH credit, ACH debit, APB credit, MMS. If she has to certify her bank in product ACH credit or debit, details like beneficiary account type, account holder name, account number, 
unique mandate reference number has to be provided. And for APB file, Ankita has to provide Aadhaar number in addition to above details. The return reason code will be auto-populated for ACH credit or APB credit or ACH debit against each record. Same is to be used while preparing return file, otherwise the file will be rejected. Now she has to select the submit button. A message pop-up will display INW file as generated. She now has to select the download inward file option where the page will display the product type. Ankita will now have to select the product type and click Submit. She can view the list of INW file and it can be downloaded by selecting the file. A pop-up message will display Inward has been generated. Based on the Inward file downloaded, she now has to prepare Return file with same details along with the return reasons provided while generating the Inward file. Now, she has to select Upload file option where tool will display the list of products to upload a return file. After selecting the product in the list, she will be routed to this page. Ankita can select the file and click Submit button to validate the RTN file. Now she will receive a pop-up message in the tool, file has been accepted or partially or fully rejected. She now has to select the option Download Acknowledgement in the tool to know the status of the file. In this screen, she can view two options, Acknowledgement and Error Report. If the pop-up message displayed is, file has been rejected with reject reason while uploading a file, she will have to select the Error Report option. Here she can view the page. It will have two options, Select Product and File Type. The user has to provide appropriate product ACH credit and file type as RTN in the drop-down and click Submit. She can download the error report for the return file uploaded. If the pop-up message displayed is partially or fully accepted while uploading a file, she will have to select the acknowledgement option. The page will have two options, select product and file type. The user has to provide appropriate product ACH credit and file type as RTN in the drop-down and click submit. Ankita can view the list of acknowledgement file displayed as list. She can download and verify the status of file as accepted or rejected. She can download the acknowledgement for the return file uploaded and if the accepted, her bank will be certified as destination bank in certified NACH product. The entire process is so quick and simple. Within no time, you can enroll your bank and enjoy the many benefits of NACH products.